This is how I pause and breathe. I'm a veterinarian. I work with animals every day, mainly dogs and cats, but everything from horses, cattle, and uh, personal interest in wildlife as well. So the hours are long, the weekends are busy, even the nights. Um, and at home, there's a toddler and a wife and a men's ministry. So there's a lot of things going on. For me, talking about pausing can sometimes be a bit tough. And I guess I'm not the only one that's kind of stuck in the rat race sometimes. So I want to be honest and say that at the moment, pausing might look a bit different for me than someone else. Um, I want to encourage people out there who are also feeling a bit drained and just feeling like life is a roller coaster and non-stop that you must continue to trust God that the season will change and that rest will come. But while you're in this season, like I am, it's important to find those moments to pause in between the busyness. Um, luckily, God is with us all day and is present in anything that we do. He's with us in every challenge. Um, every step of the way. So even if it's just 10 minutes in between work, that is the time that you can spend with Him. If you can just become aware of His presence, 10 minutes can feel like two hours. And for me, it's when I'm driving out to see clients or to a meeting, or when I'm working out on a farm with wildlife or farm animals and in nature, those moments are really energizing me and I can feel God's presence. And even at night when I'm sitting by my uh, two-year-old's bed waiting her for her to fall asleep, I can feel His presence and it just gives me the energy to continue. So I want to encourage you to please find the moments to pause, even if you are trapped in the rat race, even if you are in a season that is busy. And please still trust that God will bring a season of rest. So this is how I pause and breathe.